Hello everyone, welcome to the Teen Tales and Talks podcast. We've got Bella and Mackie. And today we'll be discussing our personal stories, for example childhood stories or things that have happened to us recently, mental health and our thoughts about the future of current teens. You go first Mackie. I have many stories to tell, but the story I will be telling today is my favourite one of all time, of how I got chased by a cow when I was around five years old. (laughs) I know, hilarious. So when I was five years old, my family had some friends and my older sister and I would hang out with their kids on their farm they had. So we kids were playing, I'm pretty sure we were playing something like magic fairies or whatever. My sister and the two other kids walked faster than me, so they were leaving where we were playing and closed the gates so that the cows wouldn't leave. Mm -hmm. Then all of, of a sudden, it felt like there was an earthquake and my sister and everyone else were all screaming at me. I turned around and saw this giant cow chasing me, so I ran as fast as I could, but I couldn't run fast enough. So my dad climbed over the gate and picked me up. The cow just missed me. Jeez, that would have been really scary for little you. Yeah, it was terrifying for little me. Anyways, what's your story going to be, Bella? For me, I'll be telling the grand story of how I met Mackie. I met her in this exact class, English class. We had to partner up for an activity, and as my friends all partnered up with each other, I realised I was alone. So I looked around and saw Mackie sitting alone as well. So of course I went and sat with Mackie. I asked her if she knew one of my favourite shows for the activity, since it wasn't super popular back then. Turns out she did, and we started talking all about it. We then realised we also had a lot of other things in common, and we instantly became friends. I've been hanging out with her ever since then, and that's how we're here, recording this today. Haha. <laughs> yep, that happened in the first few weeks of school, and now we're almost near the end of term three. It's been a long time now, and we've become best friends, and basically inseparable. Another story I have is the time when I almost broke a lock on a door. How did you manage that? I was in year six, and my fellow classmates, friends, and I were waiting outside for the reliever to come in and unlock the door. One of the kids said, if only we had a key. So I picked up a pinecone stick thingamabob. I have no idea what they're called or anything. (laughs) So if you know, tell me. Anyways, I picked up one of them and said, here's a key. And stuck the pinecone thingy into the lock and the bits of the pinecone thingy got jammed inside the lock. So then I panicked and freaked out and the reliever came over and yelled at me. So I cried. And I still... Remember it to this day. Oosh. Yeah, I know. So, Bella, do you have another story to tell us today? Yep. So, this is a pretty sad one, but it's of when my mum was pregnant with my brother. And I guess I was just not behaving very well that day. And she basically had a full-on meltdown. And she threw one of my favourite chairs and broke it. And that made me really upset. Dang. Yep. That event really left a mark in my mind. Dang. There are many ups in these stories, but sometimes we also have some lows. These ups can leave a good leave a good memory for a person for life, but these lows can also have an impact on someone for life, especially on their mental health. I'll be honest, I've always struggled with my own things like anxiety. So, Mackie, what's your anxiety been like for you? I know you've had it for ages. It can be bad at times, because even though I seem confident and outgoing and fun sometimes, Inside, I'm constantly worrying about what could go wrong today or what people think of me. It's like a storm that no one can see. But I try to stay positive and not think about the bad stuff that could happen today. It's really brave of you to talk about that stuff, Mackie. I think it's important to sometimes talk about these things because many people might feel the same way. Of course. I hope that someone listens to this and knows they're not alone in this world. On a lighter note, let's talk about our thoughts on what the future of us teens will maybe be like. Bella, what are some of your thoughts on the future, let's say in the next 10 years? Personally, I reckon the future in 10 years won't be too different from now, but there will definitely be some higher grade technology that can do much more than what it can do now. The education system probably won't be all too different, but I think my own future won't be very successful. But I'll most likely have a stable job and a place to live. In the future, I think we're not going to have the stereotypical flying cars or hoverboards. One stereotype I believe will happen is how robots might take over because of AI. We already have robots that act as waiters. 
But besides that, I think everything is going to stay the same. I am excited for when we are older, though, like when, like when we get jobs that are hopefully not boring ones, and relationships if we get into any. Ooh. My dream job in the whole world is to be a baker, and I wonder if that's going to work out for me or not. Sadly, I also do think global warming will still be a thing because we are still seeing its effects today as we speak. Yeah, global warming's had a really bad impact on this planet. It has for years. Now let's give one of our friends, Kirtan, to talk about his own thoughts on the future. So, Kirtan, what do you think in the future will, like, stay the same? I think gaming will overall stay the same, except that, except VR. But gaming should stay the same, sports would probably stay the same, it's already, well, perfected. I think, uh, I think cars would stay relatively f- the same. The only thing I'd say they'd change is that they'd hover so that they kind of float, or they'd just start becoming faster and faster. Yeah. Uh, I think the schooling system would change. I, d- I know I'm supposed to say what would stay the same, but I think the schooling system will change because it's really not perfect. I think if it changed, because because we, they get six hours to teach us, and if they can't, and if they give us homework and they can't teach us within six hours, I think it. Uh, I think they're not doing their job properly. Do you think like any of like the stereotypes, like oh, robots are gonna take over and stuff? Do you think any of like that stuff is true? Nah, I don't think robots will ever take over. Is because every robot is programmed to obey human orders, mm-hmm. and uh, and there's always something controlling the robots and achieving sentient is not something that's easy to achieve. And what do you think your future would be like? What like do you think you'll have like a stable job, relationships, um, like that stuff? The relationship part probably might not happen. Maybe, maybe not. It's like a fifty-fifty. But yeah, I think I'll have a stable job. I'm looking into three areas. There's the um, I'm I'm thinking of becoming an author. Uh, there's another thing, uh, computer programming, I like that as well. Oh, yeah. And also I intend to make my YouTube channel into something as well. So that's three different areas I'm thinking of going into. So yeah, I think I, I don't think money will be too difficult mm. later on. So do you think you'll ha- still have like the same friends and stuff in the future? Um, probably. The thing about my primary school friends is they only lasted for one year because our classes constantly changed. Oh, yeah. But this one, we're staying the same for like six, seven years. So yeah, I think I'd still be friends with my friends. Alright, well, thank you for answering some Mackie, questions. Mackie, you need to pay me more next time. I know. Now that we're finished with the topic of the future, sadly this podcast has to end. We covered quite a bit today from our lives, mental health, and thoughts on the future. Bella and I hope that this podcast made your day just a little bit better. Thank you for tuning in on the Teen Tales and Talks podcast. See you later. Bye.